In this video we will talk about some four levels of strategy. So, where the company begins? It begins with some scarce resources. So, scarce... scarce... resources. We have told this several times. So, the first level of strategy is going to be called the functional strategy. So, functional... and we can say the level. So, functional... functional... level... strategy strategy and how does it connect with uh, this our this our small graph or this our small flow so the functional level strategy will create from scarce resources our core competencies so core core competencies competencies so here was our first level our functional level strategy and we already have some core competencies and we told ourselves that those are some skills and abilities that will allow us to be special and to be successful in the business and you can already hear the word that I've said so the second level of a strategy is going to be business so business level level strategy so we are we are drawing this this small pyramid you can already see that and this business level strategy what will then create well it will create uh, our competitive advantage so competitive titu advantage advantage so that is something that makes us successful and that makes us already great. So here we have our business level strategy. And when we have um, this uh, competitive advantage, where we are going next? Well, we would like to, to have some uh, plan to uh, develop or, or to expand uh, these our domains. If you remember, we, we have told that domain uh, of an organization is something where it operates. So what kind of products we are selling? Maybe here we are selling some sparkling water and now we would like to sell some still water because we have great competitive advantage. So next level is going to be the corporate level strategy. So corporate corporate level strategy so we have next step our our in our small pyramid so corporate level strategy and what will we create then well we will expand our domain so domain expanded expanded but how is it expanded into into where it is expanded um ideologically or practically we haven't expanded somehow internationally but we have entered new market I will write it down over here so entered some new market and we have been successful with this our steel water so we would like to do something next and we would like maybe to expand internationally so we are going to have something called the global expansion strategy so global global expansion strategy and we have finished our pyramid and we have finished so where where okay i will finish this our small drawing so we went maybe um, to some new um, new markets which are considered to be geographical so new markets in, in the sense of geography so geography sorry my drawing is not the best so that was the that was sort of the life cycle of our company we have began with with our uh, scarce resources then we have had some core competencies thanks to functional level strategy then thanks to business level strategy we have had competitive advantage and finally we have expanded our domain and entered some new market and finally we have had some new 
mark it geographically and we have finished somewhere overseas. And to conclude is our thoughts, this pyramid is, is not a, just the ideological pyramid, but you can see it in a, in a company as well. So here would be, and I will change the color, so here would be our employees, employees, here would be our lower managers, lower managers, here would be our top management or our corporate managers, so corporate managers, and with some global expansion strategy, well, maybe your stakeholders, so stake holders decide that you should go overseas. So these were the four levels of strategy. Hopefully it was helpful.